<laughs> the lazy days of summer. This is the time all of us should be outside enjoying our gardens <laughs> and the bugs. This is the time, though, when everything is in bloom, the roses and the lavenders. It's so much color right now. So I'd like to share with you just a few of my favorites in the garden that are blooming. This fellow behind me is called a crocosmia. Now, I didn't think that it was very hardy for our area, but I've had it in the ground now for four years. You can see the beautiful strappy leaves that it has, but the thing that's so great is that the flowers last for such a long time, and the hummingbirds adore it. Crocosmia. And then, you, I know everybody's familiar with Echinacea now. There are so many varieties. I probably have about six or seven different varieties in the garden. This particular one, though, is called Coconut Lime. But you notice it's kind of a lime green and green foliage against green. It's lost. This fall, I'm going to dig it out and I'm going to put it in front of maybe like a red barberry or maybe even uh, something else that might be red if I can find it in the garden. Maybe something like a nine bark. These, this is called Sunrise. Isn't this a beautiful yellow one? And of course, we're all familiar with the purples. Are, those purples come in all different shades. The hydrangea are spectacular this year. Look at this little guy over here. This one is called Quick Fire, and I just love the openness of this. And of course, all the endless summers are beautiful too. And of course, probably my favorite of all is the hardy fuchsia. Look at this delicate, delicate blossom. There are so many gorgeous flowers right now in the garden. Look and see how they look in the garden. If they need to be moved, fall is the perfect time to do it. I'm Phyllis Stevens. That's our great garden tip.